How are you approaching tonight's matchup with the first line? Uh, lots of offense coming from Ratnan, Landeskog, and obviously McKinnon. Well, I, I think, first of all, you can't use one line against them because they play so much. And I think it's a five-man group that has to play against them, and even that's a challenge. I've coached a lot of games against these guys, and they only need a sniff, and they're on the... They're on the they're on the goal. I, I think what's unique about the line is they can beat you off the rush and they can beat you on the cycle. And there's not many lines that can do both. And so we just have to stay committed as a group of five that if we got to give up offense to play against them, we'll give up offense because they're you know, as good as good as they are offensively, they're a committed line for two hundred feet. So you're not gonna you're not gonna get odd man rushes or glorious scoring chances against them. You just gotta play a complete shift. And I, I think for us, it's having the right attitude. The right attitude is you better be prepared to check because they just need one little sniff and they're gone. Uh, 0 for 17 on the power play in the past five games. Are you at all concerned with the power play and, and maybe how to kind of recalibrate it? No, I'm not concerned. Um, I feel for the guys because we get no-brainers every game. And, you know, we haven't finished on the no-brainers. But in saying that, there's certain things we can tweak because um, I don't think you can have a good power play unless the puck is on people's forehand way more. So we're, we're going to try to make some changes where it ends up on people's forehand so we can be quicker and more decisive. And I think it's going to really help us. But I like a lot of things we're doing. I like the growth of the second group, even though they don't get to play much. But you can see them getting better at practice. I, I like a lot of things we're doing. but. At the end of the day, when it's just you and the goalie, you're going to have to find a way. Uh, so I think that's the one thing. If we finished, we had uh, on the first three power plays against Calgary, we had three no-brainers. And uh, you'd like to see those goes in, for, you know, just from a confidence standpoint. Can at altitude, especially early in games, does it affect anything you do in terms of running your bench? Uh, to me, altitude is really overrated. It's... It's uh, it's one of those things like it's 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 like you to to do it you got to learn to play tired and you're going to be tired quicker sure but you just all you got to do is shorten up your shifts the times you get in trouble are when you try to extend shifts and that's something a coach doesn't want so to me it's it's extremely overrated but it isn't if you try to go for one more swing down the ice and then you get caught out and that's when you get extended so to me, as long as we do the proper team things, then altitude won't be a factor.